Hi, I'm Erin, and this is my audience for today's speech. These are my three note cards. Have you ever wondered how Earth came to exist? Just like the star, moon, and other planets, Earth was formed from dust, clouds, and other gases. Do you ever feel like you deserve a vacation? sinking your toes in the Florida sand, visiting your favorite mass at Disney World, hiking the Grand Canyon, or sailing the ocean blue, but then reality hits and you remember you have bills to pay? Just remember, living on Earth is expensive, but it does include a free trip around the sun. Earth is home. Roughly 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth was formed by what is known as a super solar nubula. Just like the sun, large amounts of cloud-like materials collided together and slowly mixed with gases and dust to form planets. Once those objects got bigger, they formed in the solar system. How was Earth formed? First, I'd like to explain the start of the universe and what it consists of, followed by the most studied theories on how Earth was formed, and finally, explain the layers in which make up Earth's surface. Before the universe and Earth were created, imagine what this world was made up of, if anything at all. Some studies have been done, but the theory on how the universe was created seems to make most logic. Nearly 10 billion years before Earth was created, the universe was born. After reading an article by NASA, Sandra May states, The universe only started with two sources of elements known as hydrogen and helium gases. These gases formed stars and burnt, that burned in a nuclear fusion reaction. A generation of stars were born in gas clouds and quickly died in an explosion known as a supernova. The supernova exploded millions of years later, and heavy elements collided with hydrogen gases and dust. The mixture grew under compressed and compressed under its own gravity and formed a center of a new star known as the sun. Without the creation of the universe or sun, Earth would not have formed and, there, and life would not exist. Moving billion years ahead, the formation of Earth started similar to the universe. Over 4.6 million years ago, a unique planet was formed. Earth is the third planet from the sun and is the only planet where life exists. Before taking its shape, Earth was a giant fireball. Can you believe that? Just like the sun, Earth was created by dust, clouds, and gases that collided together. The concept that planets grow out of rings of gas, dust, and ice surrounding a new star is called the nubula theory. According to the textbook titled Essentials of Geology, Stefan states, We are constantly faced with the question of where do you come from or how old you are. Scientists began to research cosmology, the study of structure and history of the universe. When it comes to understanding how Earth was formed, it is indeed seems godlike. But with advanced technology and the scientific study, we are able to detect the early life of Earth and its formation. In effect, the details on how Earth are formed are still being worked out, but scientists continue to study rocks, meteorites, and the early part of our solar system. While the formation of Earth still remains a mystery, one thing we know is for certain the geological study of the Earth's layers. Many of the phenomenons we observe today are, are interactions among air, land, and water, but it is made up of much more than that. The Earth consists of four different layers. According to Don Anderson, the crust is the layer in which we live on and is the most widely studied and understood. The mantle is the largest layer on Earth. Due to the different temperatures, it is able to flow materials, such as rocks, the outer core is so hot that the materials are stored as a liquid. The inner core has temperatures and pressures so great that its materials are squeezed together and are not able to move. According to the theory of Earth, geologists believe Earth has cooled heavier, denser materials that have rose to the center of Earth, and the higher materials rise to the top. The materials the, the core and the, are the higher materials made up of rocks, basalts, and granites. And the core consists of heavy materials such as iron and nickel. Due to plate tectonics, the crust is constantly moving. 
millions of years ago, it believed to be a supercontinent that drifted into the configuration we know today. Plate tectonics also cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Plate tectonics move across the crust and fit into different surfaces like a puzzle. Just like an onion, Earth has many layers, and each of those layers play an important part of the formation of the Earth. Allow me to cap a vacation around the sun with a few final thoughts. The formation of the Earth will always remain a mystery. There are many theories on who or what created the heaven and the Earth. I briefly explained the most recent research and scientific study on the universe, the formation of the Earth, and the layers in which the Earth are in which hold the Earth together. Next time you're dreaming of a getaway, remember you are getting a free trip around the sun. In conclusion, just remember, all those soap operas. As the world turns, be the young and the restless and enjoy the days of our lives. Thank you for listening. And here is my audience.